Albuquerque photographer spent eight years as a White House photographer while President-elect Biden was serving as the vice president. Today he's in Delaware documenting history again and he took time away from the viewfinder to talk with us. Pictures of President-elect Biden you've never seen before taken by an Albuquerque photographer. I did join the, the White House photo staff in uh, in 2009 and I worked there for eight years. David Lineman documented Joe Biden when he was the vice president. I spent eight to 12 hours a day with him. He'll stop and talk to someone in the hallway in the same way that he would stop and talk to someone on the street. You know, I think he's a, uh, look, he's a kind, decent, caring person. He's a man of faith. Look at this picture. Then Vice President Biden holding a water gun in a backyard water war with a group of kids. There were some some really fun personal moments when, when he was hanging out with his grandkids that were were really special. From the fun stuff, the selfies with fans and the family weddings, Lineman saw it all through a viewfinder. And he witnessed Biden family tragedies as well. Covering the um, the, the funeral for his son, Bo Biden, when he passed away of cancer in 2015 was by far my hardest day at work um, for eight years there. Today, Lineman is covering a victory. He snapped this picture outside his hotel in Wilmington, Delaware. People celebrating the news that Biden is the projected president-elect. I covered um, Senator Harris Monday night up in, in Philadelphia and then did some events with Dr. Biden on Tuesday in Florida and in North Carolina. Lineman has spent the past week working for the election campaign. He knows President-elect Biden in a unique way. And before his election, he wanted others to know him too. So he published his photos in a book. Share who uh, Vice President Biden was, um, you know, the, the kind of person he was and let the American people know a little bit more about him. Lineman is not a native New Mexican, but says this state just keeps calling him back. He spent time here in the summers during college and interned at the Albuquerque Journal. A year ago, he got married and he and his wife settled here in Albuquerque.